Well, the Chattanooga Mocs men's basketball team is getting ready to lace up their shoes and hit the court as they get ready for the biggest moment of their life. Some reflect on what this moment means to them. Local 3's Angela Kim has more. I wouldn't believe that I possibly would have went D1, so I wouldn't have believed that. I'd have said you're talking about the wrong Malachi. As the Mocs wait in Pittsburgh for the finale of a nail-biting season, players like Malachi Smith and A.J. Caldwell can't help but be grateful. It's always been obviously a dream of mine and basketball has been like, it feels like it's been a part of your whole life and it's been one of like the best journeys I've ever been on, but you never really believe it would happen until it actually happens. Smith says his drive came from a young age when all he wanted to do was get better at the game. And they're like, he's not good. So all I did was rebound and pass the ball. I couldn't dribble, I couldn't shoot. Like I wasn't good at all. Meanwhile, Caldwell says his passion drove him day after day. I think the, that passion kind of uh, allows you to still come in every day and work hard every day and just play the game that you've loved playing since you were whatever year old. The little stuff that didn't seem like it mattered, you know, it ended up mattering. You know, like my bus would leave at 8 o'clock in the morning for school. I would make sure I got out there at 7.15 so I could get 45 minutes of something in my driveway before. However, the SoCon victory that punched their ticket to March Madness has been bittersweet. The next few days after it kind of fell off, you know, and it was um, definitely hard to swallow a little bit. The team is still mourning the loss of former student athlete Eric Robertson, who helped the Mocs punch their ticket to the NCAA in 2016. I didn't know before the game and finding it after definitely hurt us a little bit too. And some would say even that night uh, uh, in uh, Asheville that he made a, had a little bit to do with Dave's shot going in. The team plans to honor Robertson on their shooting shirts in Pittsburgh as well as in their mentality as they step onto the court. You got to just take every day like it's your last play every game like it's your last. I know it's um, Everybody says that, but it, it, in times like this, it really it really comes to light, and you never know when the last game you could play. You never know when the last time you play basketball, when the last step you take. So for Smith, that message rings even clearer. As there's one seat in the crowd tonight, he wishes was filled by a certain person. My grandma died this summer, and she was the one like I always told um, I was gonna you know, get her tickets to games. She was gonna come to March Madness. Smith says even though she can't be there in person, the message she left rings strong, even all the way in Pittsburgh. When that happened, that's when I knew like, you know, every moment you're on the court, just play like she's there or whoever is there watching, play to your best and don't, don't, sell, like, don't sell them short because you don't know if they'll be able to come to the next game. The whole team were playing for the community and everything, but I think it means a little more now.